Hello, and welcome to Matthew Lewis's Guide to Cricket. A pitch, well, where we are standing on it, this is the pitch. Basically everything within the white boundary ropes going along the edge. Ah, now the wicket is the square in the middle. That's where all the magic happens. It's where the batsmen will be running up and down, it's where the bowlers will be bowling the ball, and it's where the stumps are at either end. Uh, a cricket team is comprised of 11 players, but at any one time there will only be 13 players out in the middle because you'll have the 11 fielders, so 10 out in the field and one bowler, and then you'll have the two batsmen for the opposing team. The bowler is the person who bowls the ball. This is a cricket ball, uh, and they'll be the one that are running in and, and, and bowling the ball down the pitch, down the wicket, to the batsman. It's just like a, a pitcher in baseball. A batsman is uh, the person at the other end, one of these, cricket bat, um, which you would call a batter in, in baseball. Uh, and they're the one that will be receiving the ball and trying to smack it all over the pitch. You can see how different the bat is from a baseball bat. It is um, probably a similar in, in terms of, well, this one's an old one, as you can see from the 1930s. So this one's a little bit lighter than a modern day uh, cricket bat. This is probably about the weight of a, of a baseball bat, to be honest. Um, but you can see that it's, it's much flatter on one side. It's made of wood. I know um, not a lot of baseball bats are made of wood these days, um, but these are always made of willow, which makes that glorious sound when it cracks against a ball. That open flat face means that you can control the direction of your, of your shots much easier and, uh, and really score runs all over the ground. Apart from scoring runs, the thing that a batsman's trying to do is protect his stumps. Now a batsman's trying to defend those, whereas a bowler's trying to smash them to bits and knock the bales, which are the two bits on top, trying to knock them off. A wicket keeper is uh, the person behind the batsman. If the batsman misses it, they will catch the ball. The wicket keeper will be behind with gloves and pads and ready to receive the ball if the batsman doesn't hit it. If you're not involved in the main play, so if you're not a batsman, a bowler or a wicket keeper, then you are a fielder, which means you'll be out here elsewhere on the pitch ready to field the ball. Either catch, make a catch and get someone out, or you'll be just trying to retrieve the ball and get it back into the wicket as quickly as possible. You're out in cricket in several different ways. Um, again, very similar to baseball in that if the ball comes off your bat and goes up into the air and it is caught by a fielder before hitting the ground, you are out, just like baseball. If the bowler hits the stumps, you're out. If you hit them, you're out. Oh, LBW, of course, the famous one, leg before wicket. If the ball was going to hit those stumps, but it hit your leg instead, then you're out. But only if it's not hit your bat first. So if you get a bit of bat on if you get a bit of bat on the ball and then it hits your leg, not out. But if it misses your bat, hits your leg and it would have gone on to hit the stumps, you are out. And that will be an umpire's decision as to whether he thinks it would have gone on to hit the stumps or not. Not out. You have 10 wickets per inning, which I am aware that you don't know what a wicket is. You think that a wicket's the pitch and it is. But it's also something else and when someone loses their wicket, it means they are out. And an inning is comprised of 10. So once you've got 10 outs, your inning is over and they move on to the opposition team's inning. And they also have 10 outs or wickets and you get two innings each. In a nutshell, that's it. Score as many runs as you can without losing your wicket. Well, that's more exciting than I'd anticipated. I'll make a cricket convert of you yet. Yeah. Well played. You too.